Hey guys, welcome back. So we're back out the range today. I brought out my original SIG 5.56 XIR, which became a single shot rifle about 10 rounds into my testing, the first range trip. And I've brought out the replacement rifle that Atlantic Firearms was kind enough to send me. They got it right out to me. And uh, I've mounted a 14 power Zeiss scope on it. I've used this scope for my testing on a number of different guns. It works great. So I wanna find out what the accuracy is like on this gun. And hopefully this gun works better than my original one. Now my original one, if you watch the original video, had all sorts of problems. It fits tight, has a good finish, looks really good overall. But it, like I said, it just started having functioning problems. But you can tell it fits nice and tight. The only difference I can see between the two guns is this one rattles like crazy like my other SIG rifles. But the finish on them looks about the same. Uh, if you guys are wondering if there's any generational differences between the two guns, I can't see any differences between them. Everything looks identical both inside and out. So what we're going to find out this afternoon is does the new rifle work and how accurate is the rifle with the two types of ammunition I brought out originally the PMC brass cased ammo, and also the Wolf steel cased ammo, both of which I picked up from LuckyGunner.com. So let's get to shooting. This is the new replacement rifle that Atlantic Firearms sent me. Here's the original. You can tell it still has its aim point on it. I've put the Zeiss scope on this one to do some accuracy testing with it, but I brought it out. And just like the first rifle, the first 10 rounds worked somewhat okay. This one actually had two malfunctions out of the first 10, which I'll show you some pictures of. I took some pictures with my cell phone. And now it seems that just like the other rifle, on the 11th round, I started having problems. It might be because the gun's heating up. But this one also became a single shot. We're using Wolf 124 grain Military Classic. It's not a hollow point, nothing special about it. Right now I'm trying some Russian Red Bake Light magazines. All right, so there we go. It just start, started to heat up. Now I've cleaned the gun completely. We let it cool down between the last shooting segment. I used some Q-tips. I know some of you guys, and some CLP, some of you guys had mentioned that your XIs, R Russians, were, uh, were having similar problems because of the grease that SIG puts in there. And there is some white lithium grease. I've cleaned it out of both rifles. I cleaned this one thoroughly, CLP'd it up, let it cool down, and now we see the malfunctions once again. I don't know if you guys can see in there but it's having the same type of malfunctions that the first rifle was having. Let's go ahead and clear this one. Actually, I think it just chambered the round. Let's see if it fires. All right, it's empty. Well, that was actually a better run. Let's, uh, let's keep that going. Maybe this one's breaking in a little bit. Put a couple hundred rounds to the first one, and it was a single shot the whole time, as you guys saw in the first video. This one was a single shot for about 10 rounds. Maybe I'll get lucky and it'll break in just a little bit. Gave up on the other one. Still not exactly what I would want out of a gun in terms of uh, reliability right out of the box. But hopefully, with any luck, straighten up and start shooting. I'll also give the other one a try, see if uh, we can break it in if this one breaks in. Some more rounds in here. Now there's no wear marks or anything on this magazine, so the bolt's not dragging on it. I use these magazines in all my AKs and stuff. I actually like them. They're extremely reliable magazines mostly. All right. The ejection's real erratic. It's throwing it that way and forward. It does have a, a port buffer on it, which uh, you would think would make it go forward a little bit.
right, well, this one's definitely broken out. Son of a buck. This one's definitely broken in. Seems to be working pretty good. Should have had the camera rolling for the first 10 rounds of single shot there, but um, all right, cool. I'm gonna go back and shoot this other one a little bit and see if perhaps it will start to work. That's still a single shot. Magazine's clear, you can see it's nothing underneath it. Two rounds. Yeah. All right. This one's still a single shot, so it's completely cold. That was the first time I fired it, so. All right, so we're all set up on the 100-yard line. Going to fire the first group. I'm just making sure that I got it on paper. I'll fine-tune things, and I'll start shooting for real groups. Got the target cam up and running. I got a nice, clear image of the target itself. I'm going to be shooting at the big F-class target, just to make sure we got zero going here. well onto paper. Function. All right, well, we got enough rounds to test a group. Let's see what we got. So, we're going to do some PMC, and this stuff is the 123 grain full metal jacket, brass case ammo, circle 10, waffle mag, Bulgarian. And we'll fire a couple more shots here. All right, that's five shot group. Again, one, two, three, four. At least four inches, not that impressive. Sounds great. Let's, uh, let's just put the rest of these PMC loads in here and just run them through the gun, see if it uh, makes a difference in terms of the magazine and the ammo, in terms of reliability. Getting the occasional malfunction about once every magazine right now. Injection certainly seems more positive with this PMC stuff. And maybe the gun's just breaking in some more. Got some Russian ammo here, steel cased. Throw that in there, run the rest of this out.
it's flinging them. It's like this gun's loosened up a little bit. So it's definitely running a little bit better. Let's keep putting ammo through it this afternoon. We're downrange taking a look at the 100 yard targets fired with the SIG XIR, 5.56 XIR. And the first five shot group is about two and a half inches. Yeah, two and a half inches. And that was with the Wolf steel case. The PMC, three and three quarters of an inch, five shot group. So, so far I'm seeing AK like accuracy out of it. Uh, nothing spectacular. I've read a lot of reports that it's like, you know, super tight shooting group gun. So far we haven't seen that. We'll continue to shoot it some more. But um, that's not a bad group actually for 7.62 by 39 steel cased ammo. Might want to point out also we have the target cam system down here. It's been drizzling all day long. It's been sitting down here for a good hour or two. And I uh, put some tape over some of the openings. But um, yeah, it's still transmitting the images back, not having any problems with moisture. It's not a downpour by any means, just that constant drizzle. But that's holding up pretty well. It's doing good for us, so we're going to staple up some new targets and shoot some more groups. Amazingly bad him? accuracy. <laughs> Holy cow, that was PMC was guns, I think. ball. Yeah, I mean, they've been shooting. Wow. So we did some more shooting with the 5.56 XIR, uh, and I just brought out those two types of ammo today. I brought out the uh, PMC and I brought out the Wolf again. I'm gonna see if I can find some more ammo for my uh, formal review, but three and a half inch group. This was some PMC, but. I mean, just wild shots, it shoots three rounds and one goes way over here and up here. I mean, that's that's five and a half inches. And this is about three and a half inches. Just, uh, it just seems kind of be all over the place. Um, and still occasionally having the, uh, the occasional hiccup where the gun malfunctions. But um, it seems to be smoothing out a little bit. The malfunctions are becoming less and less common. But the accuracy really isn't impressing me much at all. Uh, I can get that out of AKs. So anyway, oh, let's take one more look at the uh, the target cam camera. This thing's absolutely soaking wet now. It's been out here all day and it's still working just good. Very good. So happy with the performance of this little guy. Holding up well to the adverse weather conditions. Well guys, it's time to tie things up this afternoon. In the beginning, I was somewhat disappointed in the performance of the rifle. It started having the same problems as the first rifle, although it seemed to work those kinks out on its own. And it seems to be mostly reliable. We continue to have a few malfunctions every once in a while, maybe one per magazine. Hopefully those, those malfunctions will come to an end and again will you know, perform 100%. I'm gonna keep shooting it. I think I have a rifle now that I can use for the evaluation and uh, complete my review of this rifle. I will be sending back the original single shot version of the gun back to Atlantic Firearms. I just wanted to bring them both out this afternoon. I want to double check and make sure something perhaps wasn't amiss with the gun. I did take it home again after the first video, cleaned it, all that good stuff, inspected all the parts, could find nothing wrong with it, and it's still a single shot rifle this afternoon. Now I wasn't too impressed with the accuracy. That's why I came out here this afternoon to check function and to see what the accuracy was like. As a matter of fact, I would be lucky if I could do a three inch group with it. I shot one slightly tighter than that with some, uh, I think it was the Wolf ammunition. I have to revisit the video and make sure it was the Wolf, not the PMC. But I wound up shooting tighter groups with this Krebs Custom AK with the red dot sight. And this is the Krebs 103 short barreled rifle. We had these at Copper Custom. So it was kind of surprising. Now I am an AK guy, as you guys know, um, but with a red dot sight, I wasn't using iron sights and no magnification. I was actually able to turn in better groups with that little Krebs AK. So I'm not too impressed with the accuracy of the SIG XI so far, but that's not to say that the gun doesn't shoot well. We'll try some more ammunition. Again, we've only tried the PMC and the Wolf so far. So I'll try to round up some more ammo for my final evaluation of the rifle. I may actually post some more video of it before the final review as I continue to test the gun. And I'll keep you guys posted as to how well, the gun do how well that gun does. 
guys have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash military arms. Also, please come by and check us out on Instagram. I'll put a link down below. And also come by Copper Custom, our online gun store. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.